greet you in the master's name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. And we just thank God for this day that he has made. Amen. We just thank God for this opportunity to pray. Put in your prayer requests, praise reports. Let us know, amen, what it is you want us to pray for in your life. Again, this subject is a subject that everybody, everybody has gone through this. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to talk about hurt. Amen. We're going to talk about hurt today, being hurt. Amen. There's physical pain, mental, amen, emotional. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Spiritual. Amen. For the cause of Christ. And a lot of the scriptures that I saw in the Bible was based on, amen, uh, Christian living. Amen. In the New Testament and Jesus comforting the disciples. Amen. Hallelujah. Letting them know that you're going to experience pain and hurt. Amen. Because of Christ, for the namesake of Christ, Paul picked it up and, and talked about it as well. Amen. For the namesake of Christ, because the church was being persecuted. Amen. But for a lot of us, amen, it's personal. Hallelujah. This one is personal. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And that we experience hurt from uh, loved ones and friends and family and from work and school. You got kids being bullied at school. Amen. Picked on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Experience hurt. they being picked on even at home by their siblings. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let me testify. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So um, there's a lot of hurt going on in, in this world today. Amen. But there's a lot of healing. There's a lot of hope. Amen. And prayerfully, I'll bring some comfort to you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Through the scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And before we move further, amen. It was one year ago yesterday. I missed it yesterday. Amen. But it was one year ago yesterday that uh, Mother Murray Ashby passed away. Amen. So keep the Ashby family and extended family. Keep them in prayer today. Amen. And all those that are um, dealing with bereavement. Amen. And the anniversary of bereavement. Amen. I saw a couple of other posts of people, amen, commemorating the anniversary of the loss of their loved ones. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're, we're praying for you today. Amen. Our heart and our love and our prayers go out to you today. Amen. Hallelujah. It's personal. It's personal. It's something that everybody goes through, but yet it's, it's private. I had a picture. I should have just post. I'm going to post it anyway. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the previous photo that I was going to use. Amen. Hallelujah. But but because we're dealing with different aspects. We're dealing with medical, like, like I said before, mental. Amen. Hey, that's why I did the, the lettering one. Amen. But this is the one, the original one I was going to use. Amen. For Facebook, y'all see it. Amen. Coming up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, um, and sometimes you feel like you're all alone, you're all by yourself, that nobody really understands that pain and that hurt that you're going through. Amen. Hallelujah. And the more they talk and the more, I don't know about y'all, sometimes it depends on the situation. The more people try to comfort you, amen, the more alone you feel because you're just not getting it. Amen. You just don't understand what, because it's personal. Amen. Hallelujah. It's your personal plight. It's your personal situation. Amen. Hallelujah. That you're going through. And so as much as people talk, as much as scriptures as they throw out, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Or try to console you. Amen. You still feel, amen, that pain and that hurt of the situation. Amen. Hallelujah. Secretary say, y'all, please mute your phone. Amen. Please mute your phone so everybody can hear clearly, please. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all that listen on podcasts, you're faithful. Amen. You, you won't hear all that. Amen. That's why I turn it down. Amen. I could turn it up so y'all can hear it. Amen. Briefly. But this, this, this is what, you know, when they say no, 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 you hear all that. Yeah. See, that's why I turn it down. See that noise right there? That's exactly why I turn it down. So please mute your phone, people that's on Facebook, so we can hear clearly. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so it's, it's, it's personal and it's like you all by yourself out there on an island somewhere and you can't, you can't hear. I mean, you can't, um, um, really, uh, want to be around people around other people. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You just seem like you're all by yourself. You're all alone. 
Amen. Hallelujah. And we're praying for all those, amen, that are suffering, that are going through physical pain, whatever kind of pain it is. Amen. Bereavement. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever it is, amen, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, the definition, I went to etymology this time. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the other dictionary didn't quite break it down the way I wanted it to. Amen. Amen. Hurt a verb, which means hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on. Let me clear this up. Amen. Hurt is a verb, which means to injure or wound. Amen. The physical body, feelings, reputation, etc. Amen. To stumble into bump. Amen. Hallelujah. Into. Amen. To charge against, to rush, to crush into, to knock down. Hallelujah. Amen. To knock things together. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, from the old French, this is Francais. Amen. To ram, to ram. Amen. To strike, collide with. Hallelujah. And so, amen. So like I said, and, and the overall word is dealing with all types of uh, hurt and pain. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, we go to the scriptures. Amen. We go to the word of God in the word of God. We have a hiding place in the word of God. We find comfort and healing. Amen. Hallelujah. In the word of God. Amen. The word of God is a lamp unto our feet. It's a light unto our pathway. It is the, it is the reason why. Amen. Hallelujah. He sent the word. He sent his word and it healed me. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so it simply says, amen. In Psalms 126 and five. Amen. Hallelujah. We see uh, in that in that particular chapter, uh, the Israelites, amen, was held captive in Babylon. And as that um, that captivity was uh, ending, amen, and it was time to return to Jerusalem, amen, they, they rejoiced at the return to Jerusalem, amen, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And so, amen, they were grateful to God, amen, hallelujah, amen, and, and giving God praise for all the things that he has done. And some of our hurt is not based upon what others do to us. Some of our hurt, amen, is what we have done to ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just make it, let's make it plain. But it's also very plain that whether it comes from ourselves or from others, amen, the pain is the same. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The hurt is the same and the pain is the same. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, amen. Hallelujah. It says here, 126, and when the Lord turned again, the, uh, the Zion captivity of Zion, Amen. Hallelujah. We were like them that dreamed. We, it was like, amen, coming out of a nightmare, coming out of a long sleep. Amen. And now we're awakened because we can, amen, hallelujah, come back home. Amen. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. And they said, hallelujah. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord have done great things for them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He, our captors and those that work against us. Amen. Even they have to say God has blessed them. God has delivered them out of captivity. Amen. The third verse says the Lord have done great things for us whereof we are glad. And sometimes in our hurt, in our state of hurt, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Physical or mental, whatever it is. Amen. We have to look to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to put our focus on here. Bereavement, sadness, sorrow, whatever it may be. Hallelujah. Amen. God is still working. God is still doing great things. And sometimes we so deep into in depression and hurt and pain and what's, what was done to us, what was said to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that we don't see. Amen. The goodness of the Lord. David said, I would have fainted, except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So even while I'm going through, even through the struggle and through the pain, hallelujah, amen. I know that God is doing great things, amen, hallelujah. It might not be for me at this time, but I'm breathing. Even though I'm breathing, amen, even though I'm going through, I'm breathing, I'm going through it, hallelujah. And I have life and breath and strength to go through it, hallelujah, amen. And God has blessed us even when we're going through the struggle. Hallelujah. Even when we're going through the pain, God has blessed us. Amen. Even to feel pain. 
Somebody be glad to feel pain. They numb all over their body. They're in a coma. Amen. Whatever the situation may be. Amen. They don't know they're in the world. They're here and they're still functioning. Amen. They're on life support, but they're still functioning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But we that are alive, amen, even pain lets you know that it's still there. Amen. That it's still working. My leg is in pain. My heart is in pain. My arm, whatever it may be, my back is in pain, but it's still there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. That, that the pain recognized, sends signals to me to let me know there's a problem somewhere. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we thank God for all the things that God has done. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord have gone, done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. And the, in our key verse, amen, the, they that sow in tears shall reap. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, shall reap in joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, turn again our captivity. Amen. Free everybody, Lord. Free everybody. Free everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. From the north, the south, the east, and the west. Free everybody. Loose them and let them go. He that goeth forth and, and, and weeping bear precious seed and shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing the sheaves with him. Amen. The, the, the harvest, the planting, and the, the reaping, and the sowing. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to replant our crops. We're going to reestablish ourselves in the new land back home when we get back home. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. For that joy. Amen. We thank God for the opportunity. Amen. To sow in tears. Amen. And to reap in joy. Hallelujah. We're going to reap in joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're we going to reap. Amen. Be not weary and well doing for in due season. You shall reap if you faint not. Hallelujah. Psalms 147 says, praise ye the Lord for it is good to sing praises unto our God for it is pleasant and, and praise calm is calmly. Amen. The Lord doth built up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. He healed the broken in heart. He bindeth up their wounds. Amen. He, he telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them by their name. Hallelujah. He calleth them all by their names. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Great is our God and of great power and his understanding is infinite. The Lord lifted up the meek and cathered the wicked down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the heart. Hallelujah. Unto our God. Hallelujah. In other words, I don't understand why it happened. I don't understand why I'm going through this thing. I don't understand it all, but God does. Hallelujah. He knows everything. Job says he's know the way I take and when I'm tried in the fire, I shall come forth as pure gold. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Second Corinthians one. Hallelujah. Says, blessed be the God, even the father, our Lord, Jesus Christ, the father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Amen. With comfort us with all our tribulation, uh, that we may be able to comfort them, which are in, in, which are in any trouble. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. We're going to bring comfort because God has comforted us. Amen. He has healed us. Amen. You that have been through similar things. Amen. Go and reach out to them. Amen. Don't tell them that you know what they're going through, but that you understand what they're going through. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't know because you're not them. Amen. But you understand it because you've been through it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Thank you, Jesus. And so if God has blessed you to move on, if you lost a loved one or a child, amen, hallelujah, whatever the case may be, then you can comfort somebody that's lost a loved one. Hallelujah. Amen. You can bring comfort to them and they're going to ask you, how did you get over it? And you're going to tell them I didn't. Hallelujah. I haven't gone get, gotten over it, but I've moved on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You never get over it. Hallelujah. But you move forward. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you think about the good days and you think about the laughter and you think about the the kind words you think about all the good things that happen amen in the person amen hallelujah hallelujah and when you see evil amen people going in schools and going in buildings amen and shooting people and shooting the police and shooting everybody amen you see such evil and say, where is God? God is in the response. Amen. God is in those that show love and compassion. Amen. And random acts of kindness. Kindness. Amen. Amen. Counters that random acts of violence. Amen. Hallelujah. Just do 
roofed up for people, amen, for no reason whatsoever. Hallelujah. Pay their bill, amen, hallelujah, in the drive through Pay for yours and pay for the person behind you. Amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just do random acts of kindness. Let them cut in front of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, you want to go ahead and me? I got about 12. I got a grocery cart. You got about three items in your hand. You can go ahead. Amen. Just go ahead and me in line. Hallelujah. Random acts of kindness. You never know how that heals your heart. Amen. You don't know how that heals. Amen. Your situation. Amen. Be not overcome of evil. Romans 12 tells us. Amen. But overcome evil with good. And so the more we're hurting, the more that we're in pain, the more that we should. Amen. Trust God and believe on God. Amen. And help his people here. Amen. On earth. Hallelujah. Be good unto all men, especially them of the household of faith. Amen. And whether we be afflicted, the sixth verse says, Second uh, Corinthians 1 and 6 says, amen. And whether we be afflicted, it is our consolation and salvation. Amen. Which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering uh, which we also suffer. Amen. Hallelujah. We all suffer. We all go through. Like I said, we all experience hurt at, on, on, on one degree of another. Amen. One thing of another. Amen. Or one level of another or another. Amen. Hallelujah. Whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Amen. And our hope of of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the suffering, so shall ye be also of the consolation of the healing of the blessings amen of coming out of whatever it is that you coming through that dark cloud amen hallelujah you get to the silver lining hallelujah you can rejoice and help somebody else come through that dark cloud as well when thou art converted strengthen thy brother hallelujah amen for we would not brother have you ignorant amen of our trouble which came to us in asia that we were passed out of measure pressed out of measure above strength in so much that we were despised, amen, hallelujah, even of life, amen, hallelujah. So he went through and he was letting them know that they can come through as well. Hallelujah. You got to have a hope down within you knowing that you're going to come out of this thing and you're going to make it through, hallelujah, amen. John says, very, very, I say unto you that you shall uh, weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice and you shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. Amen. Hallelujah. That thing that you're going through. Amen. The world love is just on the flesh through mind and things of the flesh. Hallelujah. And so sometimes the world, you seem like the whole world is against you. But be a good courage. My God shall. Amen. Supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Amen. Psalms 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restore. Somebody say restore. Hallelujah. He restore my soul. He leaves me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. If he guiding you. Amen. He will guide you out of it. How he's your shepherd. Follow the leader. Amen. Follow the leading of the shepherd. Hallelujah. Save it like a shepherd. Lead me. Lead me out of this mess. Lead me out of this hurt. Lead me out of this pain. Lead me, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. First Peter 4, 12 says, Amen. Beloved, thinking that strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange things that, that, that happened to you, but rejoice. Yes. Even in pain. Yes. Rejoice. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all time and his praise shall continually be in my mouth, be, but rejoice in so much. You are partakers of Christ's sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Again, back at Psalms 126. Amen. Hallelujah. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Hebrews 12. 
one and two, I'm trying to heal somebody. Amen. I'm trying to help you in your pain. Amen. In your, in your hurt today. Amen. Wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, despising the shame and sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah. Amen. He went through the most pain. He went through the most agony. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the joy that was set before him, the ability to say all power has been given unto me in heaven and earth. Come ye therefore. Hallelujah. Amen. Come unto me therefore. Amen. Hallelujah. And I shall give you rest. Amen. Hallelujah. He had the authority and the power to say that because he endured the cross. Wherein he died, he died unto sin once and for all. His blood will never lose his power. It reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day at today, it shall never lose its power. And so because he went through it, because he died, because he rose again, hallelujah, I can rise again, hallelujah, out of this mess, hallelujah. If we be planted with him through baptism, we also rise to walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We be buried with him, we're gonna rise with him. We suffer with him, we're gonna reign with him. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, he'll bring me out. You'll sing the song, Jesus brought me out all right. Hallelujah, brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. Jesus brought me out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, and Revelations 21, 4 says, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things. Somebody say former things, hallelujah. The former things are passed away. Hallelujah, I'm waiting for the former things. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Everything that came up against me, when my enemy and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stopped and fail, though a host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear, though war shall rise against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will, oh God, thank you, that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire into his temple. Hallelujah. I'm not going to stay here. Hallelujah. Paul told Timothy, I put you in remembrance to stir up the gift of God. Hallelujah. To stir up the gift of God. Yes, trials come. Yes, situation come. People say anything. Hallelujah. Some people don't have a filter. They'll say anything. Hallelujah. Out of their mouth. But I'm telling you today, hallelujah, God is greater. God is bigger. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Trust him. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust him today. Believe on him today. Hallelujah. Get up. Amen. Don't go on. Don't stay on that island all by yourself. No man is an island. No woman is an island. Hallelujah. Amen. Get up. Amen. Call that person that makes you laugh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And talk to them. Talk to somebody that's out of it. Hallelujah. And they can help bring you out of it. Amen. That's why the lifeguard sits outside the water. Amen. The lifeguard is not supposed to be in the water when everybody's in the water. The lifeguard's out there. Amen. Call you a spiritual, emotional lifeguard. Amen. Call them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So they can help you because they're not in it. Amen. Sometimes it's good to talk to somebody that's emotionally detached from your situation. Amen. Sometimes we commiserate. Amen. And we call people just as, as much pain as we are. Amen. That's hurting just like we are. But sometimes you need to call that person that don't have no clue, no connection to what you're talking about. Amen. And don't even tell them about. It. Amen. Just just have a talk with them. Amen. And laugh and have it. Enjoy yourself. Amen. And come out of that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They that sow in tears shall reap. Enjoy. It's coming. Your deliverance, your healing. Amen. The light is going to shine in that darkness and darkness comprehended not. Trust God. Believe him. Love God. Hallelujah. Don't curse God and don't charge him foolishly because of what you're going through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't charge him foolishly because of what he, amen, going through. Amen. Because of what you're going through. God will make everything all right. It's going to be all right. That's why I put BB and CC on there. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, CC and BB. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's already all right. Hallelujah. Now faith is a substance of things hopeful. The evidence of things not seen by it, the elders obtain a good report. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We trust God. We believe God, even when we're hurting. 
physically, emotionally, whatever kind of hurt we experience, amen, we still have faith in God. From faith to faith, the just shall live by faith. Who shall separate us from the love of God? Hold on, my brothers. Amen. Change is going to come. Hold on, my sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. Hold on, people of God, children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Hallelujah. Amen. It's coming in the morning. Don't let go of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Why would God do something like this? He does it. Amen. He does. Amen. The, the willing to do of his good pleasure. Amen. Hallelujah. So we trust God and we believe him despite what, what, what has been done. Amen. He do take, amen, people home with him. He do pick flowers in bloom. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we trust God. Amen. Hallelujah. We believe. Amen. Because he's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Jesus, blessed Savior, he is worthy. Amen. To be praised. Amen. God bless you, fam. We love you in Jesus' name. We, I pray something was said today. Amen. Go back over those scriptures. Amen. When you're hurting, when you're in pain. Amen. Hallelujah. Please go and, and that whatever you're going through. Amen. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Amen. Put in your prayer requests. Amen. Hallelujah. As we prepare to go before the Lord. Amen. Please pray for my cousin, Kim Wade and family. Her youngest son, Aaron, passed away this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we're going to pray for um, the Wade family. Amen. And extended families. Amen. In the name of Jesus and their bereavement. And again, keep the Ashby family and all the families that are dealing with bereavement. Amen. We're coming up on two years of my dad passing away and we still feeling that. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it don't go away. Amen. You just move on. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't look for it to go away. Amen. Hallelujah. If it does, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But if it doesn't, thank you, Jesus, and keep moving. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep moving forward. For they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for this day that you have made. Lord God, we ask for your divine hand upon all your people. Lord God, hallelujah. And we pray for the Wade family. Lord God, in this moment of bereavement, Lord God, hallelujah, and all the families and all the people that we don't even know of, amen, somebody's in hospice right now, somebody's in, amen, I see you right now, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, and they call the family, and we don't even know their name, but go there, Lord God, they need comfort, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we're praying for our people of God, amen, hallelujah, everywhere, Praying for our young people, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praying for all your family of God everywhere. Those that are being persecuted, amen, can't even call the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God, are being persecuted all over this world. Lord God, there's a lot of people experience great hurt and great pain. You told Moses, I hear the cry of my people by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. And Lord God, you know our sorrows. Uh, you're mindful of our tears and you know what your people are going through. Hear the cry of your people, Lord. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, Lord God. Speak comfortably to them, Lord God. Hallelujah. Pray. We pray, Lord God, for deliverance, Lord God. We pray for healing, Lord God. And we pray for comfort for all those that experience loss or commemorating the loss of their loved ones, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, make a way out of no way. Open doors that seem to close, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In, in school, at work, you know, people being battered and abused, they, Lord, and taken advantage of. And Lord God, we speak your divine covering over, especially the kids. You said, suffer the little children to come unto me. Forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And we speak the power of God. Hallelujah. Over darkness. Let the light of God shine in that darkness and let darkness uh, comprehend it not, Lord God, not hold it back, Lord God. So let it shine in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and deliver your children, Lord God, and bring them to where they need to be in the name of Jesus. We trust you. We love you. 
Hallelujah. We pray for you, Lord God. We pray for the people of God everywhere. We pray to you, Lord God, for the people of God everywhere. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. These and all blessings we pray in your precious name. We ask special healing and deliverance to those sick and shut in. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord God. We ask God that you bless all those uh, rehabilitation centers, senior citizens, homes, whatever it may be, assisted living. Lord God, in the name name of Jesus. We pray for the everybody everywhere. Bishop Logan. Amen. Bishop Roger Logan down in Fredericksburg. Lord God, we pray for him. Lord God, hallelujah. And all those, amen, sick and shut in. Mother Jackson, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Mother Priest, Lord God, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we speak the blessings of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the power, Sister Jenny, Preacher Jenny, Lord God, we ask evangelists to you to heal her in heart and mind and body and everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we're more hurt on the inside than we are on the outside. And Lord God, we speak blessings on her life and everybody, amen, that are going through. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And amen. Amen. God bless you, family. We love you in Jesus' name. And we thank God for you being with us on this journey. And Lord God, we, we, we ask everybody, amen, to continue to pray for these people. Amen. Hallelujah. Each other, the body of Christ. Amen. And certainly keep agape in prayer. Keep, please keep Pastor Fields in prayer. Amen. My, my pastor used to say, you, those that know how to pray, pray for me. Amen. And he used to say also, if you couldn't think of nothing else to pray for, pray for me. If y'all can't think of nothing else to pray for, hallelujah, pray for Pastor Fields. Amen. And pray for Agape Worldwide Ministries. Amen. And the work that we do and want to continue to do. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we love you. Thank God for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Last scripture, a closing scripture. First Timothy, first chapter 17, verse now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. We love you in Jesus' name, and we'll see you next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.